So our children in Los Angeles are coming from one of the most urban centers in the country. Children, the first thing they notice are natural things around them, and we have separated our kids from that. Not only are they disconnected physically, they're also disconnected emotionally. Depressed, stressed, not interested in the world around them. There are 35,000 at-risk children just in 500 blocks. A lot of our students, you know, have been witnesses to violence or know about violence in the neighborhood. Um, you know, some parents um, are in jail uh, or have been deported. As you can see, our campus doesn't have a whole lot of green spaces. I was really surprised that teachers didn't have time or resources to teach environmental education. We do need to give them a sense that the world is, is rich with possibilities and, and a critical part of that equation is taking them outside of an urban environment dominated by concrete and into nature. It would be better to see animals and touch animals and describe them and learn about them instead of reading like books and stuff or the classroom. Finding field trips and finding money takes up a lot of time. Because of the budget cuts, people have to write grants to get bus trips. Every single letter that we get from children says, thank you, when are you coming back? We had to sometimes write back and say, we'll see you next year. The education by nature model is a very simple prospect. You look to the elements that are there in the community, the resources and the talent that is available, and you get them all to work together. A teacher may look for a field trip or community activity to help students meet a particular educational content standard. That might be a classroom visit by a community expert, or a field trip for a beach cleanup, or a nature walk at a local park. The challenge for the teacher is how to find the right program to meet his or her needs. For the nonprofit, it's how to fund these field trips for under-resourced schools and demonstrate that their single-touch field trip results in the kind of educational impact that funders and school administrators demand. With the Education by Nature model, any teacher will be able to visit a single website and easily search by grade level, topic, and content standards to find, request, and register for the multiple programs available in the local community. The nonprofits collaborate to leverage each of their independent programs, building upon each other's work and reinforcing concepts in a multiple touch delivery model. Nonprofits can, for the first time, see a service delivery map a comprehensive picture of which classrooms are receiving services and where there are gaps. Grant makers find value on many levels and can support jointly submitted proposals and larger projects with greater accountability and impact. The Los Angeles program is a collaboration of four environmental education organizations, the Children's Nature Institute, Heal the Bay, Rediscover Arts Center, and the Los Angeles Neighborhood Land Trust. How should it feel? It's cool. kind of squishy. Is it different? We had to scramble to get field trips. So here we are going someplace every month. It's something that the kids would look forward to. What are we going to do next? Where are we going to go? So we're slithering. <laughs> Snake. 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 So maybe a fly landed in this web. 
are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gotta crawl over with how many legs? Eight. Eight legs are gonna crawl over. And what are you gonna do? Eight. Take your fangs. And you're gonna bite the fly. Ready? Gila Bay's primary mission is to heal the Santa Monica Bay, and we do this through education, research, and advocacy. How are these cigarette butts getting out to our beach? The Mormon system! If we do this together, united, it's something that we can achieve. We can break down the barriers of we don't have enough resources, or it's too difficult to change anything. Make that four cigarette okay, butts! As they experience this program, they really get empowered and they start to feel that they can make a difference. It gives them a sense of importance. They can make change in their environment and in their life. I feel very proud about cleaning the beach and saving a lot of, a lot of these animals and all my, having my classmates help me too. 80 pieces of star foam. The Bee Discover Center started from some parents that wanted to give teachers the opportunity to have unique um, resources and recycled materials that they could bring into the classroom. Being part of the collaborative with the Children's Nature Institute is terrific. I really like using the art to remember what they did. Their field trip may have been a month ago, but by visiting it through an art project again, you can remember it, think about it differently, discuss it as part of the class. We are a nonprofit organization um, whose mission is to create parks and community gardens in low income, park poor areas of Los Angeles. We're very excited to be a partner um, in this uh, collaborative, and the reason that we are involved is because education is such a key component um, of building future environmental stewards um, in our communities. We really believe that a park and a garden contributes to the healthy uh, quality of life and a healthy community. I get so emotional when I think about children that, um, you know, children that who, whose lives have been changed by these programs, and then I think about all the kids that I can't reach because we're just 10 people and we're just, you know, but through, through collaboration, it, um, it's possible to reach all those children. And I think that that's the beauty of our model in the Bay Area in Mountain View is that it is in all of the schools. Nonprofit community is not only welcome, but they are critical partners in the work of reforming our schools. Only 9% of our students in fifth grade were proficient on the spring 2009 science test. With this project, I'm, I'm pleased to tell you that in 2011, 53% of our fifth grade students were proficient or advanced. That kids who have never talked in class start talking. Kids who have never participated at all start participating. It changes the community. And it's been um, overwhelmingly enriching for our students, for the parents and for the community. It's more like, what are you gonna do? What are we doing today? What are you gonna teach us? What projects are we gonna work on? <laughs> when you're a person who works with kids, that's more meaningful than I could possibly describe. <laughs> if we don't protect our earth and our environment, the plants will never gonna survive and we're never gonna survive. It's, it's important to care about our animals too because they need a home to live. The community to me means a lot to me because there's a lot of nature and I don't want them to get hurt. And trash doesn't go on the floor, it goes in the recycle bin. Thank you for showing me everything. I'm really proud of you guys. I call myself Miss Pink Scientist Melissa. Nature is cool because we, we can learn a lot of things like science, 